All right, what's up, Aries? You are the last on my list to do. I hope all is well. Um, this is Soul here, of course. And Aries, we're going to look at some messages for you for the week starting the 16th of May, ending the 22nd, 2022. The messages will be for Aries uh, suns, moons, Aries rising signs, singles, couples, and Aries who are into same-sex loving energies. So I'm using uh, the... Um, Madhouse Tarot, once again, I fell in love with this deck and I wanted the opportunity to use it again. No Oracle message this week, Aries, but I will be using um, the yes or no coin. This is yes. So I want you to ask uh, a question. Ask yourself a question that results in a yes or no answer. And as I've been saying, the yes could be negative and no could be, you know, positive. It all depends on what question you ask for yourself. Um, without further ado, these cards are in the upright position, as I mentioned before. Let's get underway. And that's for entertainment purposes only. Just something that I'm, you know, incorporating into um, my videos just to see how, you know, well it goes over. And that's about it. All right. So, energies for Aries. I got 29% left on this battery. I'm going to get through this reading. All right, Aries suns, moons, and Aries rising sign spirit. What are the message here for Aries? All right, Aries, we're going to start off with your first energy, and that will be the two of swords. So there's some sort of conflict going on here, decision, maybe regarding two things. It could be something as simple as having to take an alternative route during some sort of traveling, whether it's vacationing or work related all right this is still my bisexual card so energies related to same sex it always shows up here well it doesn't always show up but it's always the same thing all right so having to make a choice there could be two people who are interested in you aries you could be interested in two people as well no significance to the white robe or the black robe but it could be race indicated all right, your shadow energy, which I have just been mentioning that uh, this is a major arcana, though, but from, you know, ongoing, moving forward and doing these videos, if it is a minor card that shows up, it's just going to be a part of your energies. I'm no longer going to say uh, if it plays out. OK, it's just part of your energy. The High Priestess, though, however, is the major arcana. Uh, it's a relationship card. Opposites attract. Uh, secrets being held here, Aries. Are you keeping secrets? Uh, intuition. Pay attention to your intuition. It may be uh, needed this week. It may be helpful and beneficial here with the Two of Swords that opened you up in terms of making choices. Uh, trust your gut instinct, okay? And always pay attention to those voices because those are your own personal uh, spirits and divine that's trying to always grab your attention so that you you get it right keep you on your path um if it involves new relationships it could be existing relationship this person the other person that you are involved with or potentially may be involved with will be different from you age race always mention that uh live in a different state city town country it could be religious factors but there's something different about them most importantly is to pay attention to your uh, intuition okay you're being um, guided and helped here Pisces represents the high priestess along with the other water energies cancer and Scorpio okay so what's following the uh, two of swords here the fool okay the fool is the new beginnings so taking chances taking leaving fear and risk behind and just going for it, seeking excitement, seeking uh, adventure. So maybe because the Two of Swords is here, maybe that's what you're you know, deciding to do, that you want something new or something exciting into your life or bring it into your life, but you just aren't quite sure exactly what it is. Major Arcana of the Fool, you have two so far. This is about taking those chances, leaving trepidation behind, fears behind, stepping out, taking that leap of faith um, forward, trusting the universe and knowing that the universe is going to be there to support you in whatever it is that you are seeking. It's all about new beginnings, Aries. All right. So following the major account of the fool, now we have the nine of wands. So some of you could be busy this week doing things for yourself, lining things up for others. 
Uh, could be work related. Could be just you know helping friends out. The nine of wands is just indicating that you will have the energy to tackle whatever it is that is slated on your plate or things that may crop up along the way. This is part of your energies, Aries, uh, Leo, and Sagittarius. Up next is the Hermit. So some of you are going to maybe doing some introspecting. Uh, some of it could be uh, soul searching. Some of it could be deep. Some of it just could be just you temporarily detaching your energies from um, you know other energies, uh, which could be your work, which could be your relationship, and just you know this is me time, alone time, downtime doing something, catching up on reading. Um, you know, if you have to go within, this could be, you know, meditation, uh, seeking, you know, going within to seek answers. You usually come out with the answer or with a clearer perspective. So this is neutral. So it represents uh, Virgo, the Hermit, Capricorn, and Taurus. Following the Hermit card, now we have the Justice card. Okay, so you got um, one, two, three, four. You got four major arcanas here, Aries. This is major energy here. Justice being served. The scales are balanced. This could be some uh, legal stuff going on. I could be just talking to Aries who work in the legal you know, field. Um, but whatever it is, if there is some sort of lawsuits or legalities uh, attached to you, it's in your favor. Someone could be getting married in front of the Justice of the Peace. I always get um, workman's comp for whatever reason from the Justice card. I don't know why I always get that. But someone could be, you know, um, fighting for work, workers' comp and then this is the decision that's laid down. It's in your favor. So Libra represents this uh, Justice card as well as the other air energies, Aquarius and Gemini. Wow, okay. Justice being served. Following the Justice card, we have Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is just like that Two of Swords. Choices. Trying to balance things out between two things. Um, still, it could be two people who are interested in you, Aries, or you're interested in two people. The most simplest thing is trying to balance out your checkbook. Juggling two jobs, possibly. It still would be indicative of someone getting a very small pay raise. But it's a small imbalance, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay? Uh, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Up next is now see because it improves. This is the Ten of uh, Pentacles. This is my inheritance card. This is the wealth card. So, money coming in. Now, money coming in for Aries and expected or unexpected sources you know if you're the Aries that plays the lottery this is like the um, uh, will of fortune someone actually could be getting an inheritance now look we have the justice card somebody's being rewarded here with uh, a substantial amount of money because if it's a lawsuit it's in your favor and here's the money if it's the absence of money, then Aries, you're wealthy in mind, body, soul, and spirit. This still would be indicative of someone getting a substantial pay raise or a promotion to a higher paying position. Earth energy, stars, Capricorn, and Virgo. Now we have the hangman. Hangman is showing up here, so this is another major arcana. It's neutral, just like that hermit. But this is normally, um, in terms of my interpretations, Aries, that th you have to, if there's anything going on here. Now, we haven't drawn any swords. Well, if you wanted to count the Justice card, because that's part of air energies, that could be, you know, uh, noted as a sword. But in terms of decision making. You have all the time in the world, okay, to move forward with whatever it is that you are um, taking your time about, you know, gathering. Maybe you're just gathering information, but there's no rush for you to rush into something that, you know, you may end up regretting for not taking the time or having to take the time to think and, you know, um, do some sort of contemplation. 
So the hangman shows up here to say, hey, Aries, go slow. Take your time. There's no rush. For others, it's just sitting, you know, it's things on the, you know, sitting on the fence, things hanging in suspense. And that's it. Okay, so you have the Major Arcana, the hangman here. Uh, following that, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is showing up quite regularly here for these signs. This is detaching your energy. Now, notice it's underneath the Hermit because the Hermit is also too a part of detachment. This here is like detaching your energies from work, from your relationships, um, on a temporary basis, doing something without the inclusion of work, your other relationships, and do something solely for you, Aries. This is reseeking your independence and your freedom. This is a card of resuming some sort of doing stuff on your own uh, to make you happy and not be attached to those energies that I just mentioned, your work, your relationships, to bring forth that happiness because we're personally responsible for our own happiness, not the other things that we are attached to. And I just said in another video when the Four of Swords shows up here, it is something that will lessen the blow um, if you are able to, you know, just continue onward. Yes, you can be in a relationship, but you can be independent of that relationship. Yes, you can work, but you can also um, know when to, you know, take time away or take time off so that you're not, you know, <clears throat> spending too much time there. Your friendships. Sometimes we need to break apart from our friendships in order for the friendships to grow as much as the romantic relationships to grow. So find something to do uh, that does not include those things that I mentioned. Four of Swords. This is also planning trips in the future. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Four of Swords. Last card, Two of Wands. So Aries, you're waiting for something or someone to arrive. This telescope, the man in the tub, he's looking through the window. He's waiting for something to arrive. This could be, uh, for some of you, it could be something important um, related to mail. It could be a relationship. It could be uh, news of a job. It mirrors the two of pentacles. Or it could be extra work if you already have a job. And you want, you're interested in picking up another job for, you know, additional income. For others, this is ideals coming to you. This is planning in the future, writing things down, but you're not ready to execute because maybe you don't have all the resources available to do so. It's the number two. So it would indicate relationship. When I talk about that, it's, you know, some of you could be experiencing uh, slow movement or stagnation. But it doesn't have to be attached to a relationship. It could be slow movement or stagnation in any other given area that's happening with you. So this two of wands here represents your energy, Aries, that of Leo and Sagittarius. This is what I have for you guys this week. Interesting energy to open up, though, really. All right, so positive energy here. So I hope you guys have thought of the question. I'm about to flip this coin. And five, four, three, two, one. And for those questions that you may have asked yourself, the answer is yes. Okay, the answer would be yes. Now, remember, I said that the yes answer could be negative as well. All right, so Aries, whatever you do this week, do it well, do it safely. Uh, enjoy all the energies that may potentially open up for you, your relationships and so forth. Um, until I talk to you again, keep smiling. Take care. Bye.